All right, good evening, everyone. We're going to do some uh, free-for-all deity. We're going to use the Americans. It's July 3rd as of this recording, as of this broadcast here on Twitch. And uh, we're going to play the Americans just to... Uh, it's a little bit early, but by the time I'm finished, it'll be July 4th here in this time zone. Close enough. Yep. Ah. And uh, for those that don't know, this is broadcast on Twitch originally, and then it uh, gets re-uploaded later on YouTube. We're going to go ahead and pick the Americans. Hope for a good start here. Alright, scientist, I can deal with that. So, with the Americans, in my opinion, you want one of a few things. You want Builder, Scientist, or Great Explorer. All three of those you can have a really killer start with. You might be a little bit younger than me. Are you like late 20s or something like that? Because uh, I was born in 79, so I was more like a Mario Brothers Sonic guy. Bandicoot came way later. I just kind of feel like the whole mascot game thing was a little bit too played out by that time, in my opinion. Oh, what is over here? Yeah, you're in the choice. So you're probably more at like that impressionable age kind of you're younger those things kind of cement in your mind and always have a emotional value a sentimental value shall we say uh, boy I'm trying to figure out as you see this is going to the east over here Ugh. I don't really want it to go over there Oh, this is always so tricky. I guessed your age perfectly. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, in this case, when you have a scientist, you don't want to change over to technology. You kind of want to get gold in this case. Yeah. Hey, ask if you want joke. What's going on? Oh my goodness, I have never seen so many huts right next to each other. That's kind of amazing, to be honest. Did we see anybody through this fog? Nobody? 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 Oh, this map. Oh, the stupid things mess me up. Well, I can see Aztecs like way over there. Like way over there. Oh! Found somebody. Uh, are you doing it on Xbox 360? I'm honestly like feeling the tension right now, sweating bullets, because I got a nice setup here. I got 50 gold, a great scientist. I have everything I really need to get a nice start here. So I'm like flipping out. I could m run over here. I just don't know what's right here. I'm kind of hoping it's a tree. I don't think there's any way. Hey, Zach. What's going on, man? Yeah, that is an easy walk-in. All I would have to do... I kind of want to go here because then I could actually get this capital in 3800 BC. Maybe. But I might be sacrificing an early tree. Um, but if I have a tree up here, that's probably good to go. I think it's worth the risk.
Oh, it is. Oh my goodness. Perfect. This is so beautiful. I'm so scared to mess this up, to be honest, because this is so good. This is so good. I think it's funny you can't actually use your scientist unless you have a city. Uh, right. What's going on, Alphite? You're dead. So it looks like it's not actually possible to pop out. I can't pop out the horse just yet, but I should be fine. I can get a horse out the next turn. Because I can't actually activate my scientist unless I rush a warrior, but there's like no point in doing that. How many huts did I run by? Two over here? For gold. Woo! Okay. This is an awesome setup. This is pretty much a dream setup. You got uh, double resources. You have fish, game. Not going to be huge in the early going, but the fish will help. That's good. Uh, that could help us get up to three population. Not a big deal, but it will help us expand a little bit. And all these trees are going to make for really nice early expansion. So you really need a lot of trees. You can't really utilize hills so much. Uh, you even have some access to dye. Maybe if we get monarchy, we shall see. We're going to have to wait until next turn to go east here. We're just going to continue east. Uh, we're going to have to deal with that at some point. But I don't really want to send a horse to the south so much. Go east. Go east. So 3600 BC, we have horseback riding. A horse, two cities, and gold to burn here. Hey, Moonsleek. What's going on, man? Yeah. Twenty-five gold for horseback riding. Pretty epic. What's up, unknown random? I don't think there's going to be a hut around here.
Gotta watch that hut. Don't want them to take my capital. That would be pretty embarrassing. <laughs> but it can happen. So if they're, they drop down to two, we know that they're coming. Must be a warrior there. Could rush this guy out and go for this hut, but... <sighs> Don't think that's what we want. Might as well just wait until this one in the front here is ready to roll. did I eat today? Yogurt and sausage. Three versus 2.5. This is so risky. Nope. <laughs> no, that's disgusting. <laughs> no, I did not do that. Get the hell out of here. Tiny little bug zipping around. problem at all. <laughs> two to go. Alright, so two. Doesn't whooping the AI every game get super boring? I don't know. I mean, it's like, why? I don't know why people ask stuff like that. It's like the people that speed run Legend of Zelda. I mean, don't they get tired of beating Ganon? Don't they get tired of clearing every dungeon? 
It's like, no, because you're basically, you're not, you're trying to beat a, a speedrun goal. It's like a totally different deal. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm going to win. Like, that's not a question. It's just a matter of how you win and what speed you're going to win. You're trying to do things in a way that haven't been done before or even tried. And, you know, that's why people still speedrun games like 30 years later. People are speedrunning Diablo 2. It's like, you know you can beat Diablo 2. That's not the interesting thing about it. Wow, and this is three population and has three trees. That is so fortunate. Wow. I don't even think it's worth. Because this is so much farther ahead. I feel like this one's... These might as well just go science, honestly. How many dudes do I have over? One, two, three, four. Yeah. These may be able to just go over. Yeah, speedruns are nuts, man. And there's lots of RNG involved and lots of glitchiness going on and all that kind of thing. But that's cool. That's what makes it fun. Come up with some constraints, some different rules. Make it fun. Make it interesting. Push the limit. See what the limit is. What can you possibly achieve? This is pretty nuts. This is 3200 DC. We got two caps. Four horses. <sighs> and we're already researching alphabet. Yeah, it's cool. It's a lot better than sitting around watching cable TV. I'll tell you that much. I, I can't stand cable TV. Or even even a lot of movies, I can't stand watching that stuff either. Some movies are okay. Just not for me. Bronze working. Alright, so really our primary directive right now. If we could eliminate one more AI. And proceed to Code of Laws. That's really what we need to be doing. I don't even know where these people are right now. Durah. Durah. Okay. So there's someone. Oh, nice. Hey, Arch Ghost, what's going on, man? Merka. <laughs> yeah, if I, I want, I want the Sub Zero AD victory so badly, but man, it is so hard. It's so hard. With enough RNG, uh, it's possible, but I don't even think everything's in control of the player, unfortunately. It'll just take multiple tries. It's just... Uh, yeah, I thought about streaming some Darkest Dungeon. Um, I did get that set up on my OBS broadcasting software, so that's working and everything, but... Uh, and I did play it a little bit today just to get an idea of how it works and all that. So I'm not like a complete noob when I'm playing it. But yeah, that is something I'm considering playing. Alright. 3100 BC. Is there anything I can do? I don't think so. I need to hit like a name tile. Thank you. All right. Just got just asking, ye shall receive. You know, just ask for it.
do some micromanagement there. Oop, wait. That's not right. This is what I wanted. Alright. I don't want this to give me alphabet. I'll be really mad if it does that. Oh man, it's my pleasure. I love I love producing this content. Pleasure's all mine. I guess I'd better I'd be so mad if this gives me alphabet. <laughs> That's even better. And we got three artifacts. Oh, this guy's gonna help me find the other capital. Look at this. This is so awesome. Please give me 25 gold. Thank you. I wouldn't. Ugh. Gotta check those tiles. Yeah, really. Everything's going very well right now. anything left I can really do at this point. <clears throat> Pop this thing up a little bit. Here we go. Alright. That's it. Getting alphabet. I feel like Genghis Khan is always in the game. I'm always wiping that guy out. Ooh, I hope that one over there is a boat. Watch out! Guy's gonna kidnap my caravan. Where are these guys? Jake Pollard. I don't know what that is. So I guess the answer is no. Oh boy. I don't know that I can contend with that guy. Yeah. Uh, it's doable. But you probably don't want to mess with that. It's probably 7.5 defense. Um, with that hill that's next to his capital, I could take it up to 12. Nice oak tree, by the way. Ooh, 
Wow! <laughs> That's so many huts. So many huts. I may be able to find someone else. Like, maybe... Maybe they're over here. This guy's growing. It's pretty funny. Alright. Hey, Bobo. What's going on, man? Whoo! This is going way too well. Yeah, it could. It 12 versus 7.5 is still not guaranteed, though. It's just risky. Yeah. Let me go ask these guys to run around. What is over here? I don't believe they're over there. All right, nothing there. <laughs> Thirteen point five. To four? Holy cow. Yeah, that's pretty sad. It happens. Definitely happens. So, I think whoever's left, I believe, is on an island. Because I don't see them. Do you see them? I don't. Do you? It goes good. Yeah, that's pretty risky. I'm almost thinking it's not worth it. What I could do is try to steal great people from him. Um, sometimes it's a little bit counterintuitive, but sometimes it's actually not worth taking these AI opponents out. Even though he's got a nice juicy 3A, three, 3, uh, population city right here. So the risk is, I lose one or two horse armies. But the upside is I could get a 3 or 4 population city and democracy. Could get democracy. I think it's Egypt. I can tell you if it's Egypt. Colossus is in the game. King Gardens is in the game. Oh, you have to do it before I research all this stuff. Oracle's in the game. Hanging Gardens. Is one missing? Colossus? Hmm. I don't know if it is Egypt. So when can I get there? 26, 25, 2400 BC.
Freaking little bug, man. Are these guys even veterans? I don't think so. Kind of thinking I should just leave them. Guy has no money. So here's what I'm going to Here's the this is a this is a pretty tough decision. But the decision I'm going to make is I'm going to leave them in the game and just hope to get lucky. I hope he plants from some great builders, I hope he plants some great scientists, even a humanitarian would be good. Um cuz it will be tough to get access to stolen great people. Otherwise, I'm going to have to jump island hop at some point here. Lower risk, and uh, potentially could get could get something even better than a single city out of it. And we just got 50 gold from that. That was awesome. And there are three artifacts, so that's cool. That means there's two pretty decent uh, artifacts going on in this game. Plus Atlantis, of course. Yeah. I hope they don't burn up their... I hate when they burn up their... When they burn up their great person. I hate that. This gold is unbelievable, by the way. They could be over here somewhere. It's totally a possibility. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Great scientist on currency. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Usually they plant the scientists. Get out of here. Dude, there's this tiny bug like this big, like buzzing around me. This is a nice spot right here for a construction city too. In case we need to, in case we need one of those. Three hills. We had an oak tree too though, didn't we? This might even be better. This one would not have any hills, but it would have a heck of a lot of trees and an oak tree. So, if you think about an oak tree, that's kind of like I don't know what's better, hills or oak tree? Maybe both. So, let me micro this a little bit. I only need eight, so this should help. Yeah, oak is pretty awesome. Definitely one of the best ones. Dude, this little bug, what the hell? So we got our free settler. Nice. 
Got something useful? Got blitz? down here. up to four population now. Could be something hiding up there. Left cup have money. Pilari pay for Ram. Pilari pay for Ram. Pay for Rame. Left cup have Marseille. Crowspa. Left cup have Pilari. Pay for Crowspa. Cam East. Pilari. Left cup have Pilari. To sell everything. Don't need it. Oh man, that is a lot of gold. That is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of gold. Considering rushing, we're at 12. Actually, what we should do is pop a boat out. Question is, where's all the goodies? Where are all the goodies at? Yeah, pretty much everything's going great. No excuses this game. When you get this much money, you don't want to hit currency, really. So let's just pop out a galley. While it's still pretty cheap. What? <laughs> what the hell? What was that? No, that's not what I wanted. Okay. That's not what I asked for. Why did it do that? That made no sense. It wasn't even working that tile. As soon as I thought I understood how boat placement worked. Okay. Oh, that was really stupid. I don't think that was my fault. But okay. Maybe we'll end up building two anyway. <laughs> did you see it? I mean, did that make sense to anybody? Big Cat of One. Welcome. Even more. Even more caravans.
Yeah, the boat placement thing is a little bit doofy. I'm only running over here because sometimes... See that? That's how you threaten to get some free money. Not declaring war on him, so I just got free money from him. <laughs> That's how you threaten, boys. That's how you threaten them. Yeah, if you got a, a nice horse army outside of the city, they will be a lot more likely to... You just gotta threaten them twice and they'll give in like that. Works a lot. As long as you have a, a, an, a threatening force outside of the city like that. I don't know if it takes like the elite upgrades into consideration or the veteran upgrades. But I, it must? Maybe? Maybe it does. I don't know. I would think it would. It wouldn't be that hard to, to program it to check for that. So, I don't know if they're lazy or what. Um, I have to start planning where these guys are going to pop out and help these uh, settlers along. Don't really want them here. Here would not be a bad spot. So, maybe up here. Man, this 2% interest is no joke. I'm getting 4% gold like, every turn. Doesn't sound like much, but I'm getting 4 gold for basically nothing. Which is awesome in the ancient era. Especially with this much gold. It's almost broken. Not broken, but it's nice. It is definitely nice. Damn, I have so much money, I don't even know what to do with it. I guess I can build another boat, though. So that's something. 75 gold? Holy cow. Two hundred ninety-two gold. I'm actually thinking these might be named tiles. I can't. I actually can't check them though because I have a. Yeah, that's a nice. Let's see, we got iron. This stuff's really not accessible, unfortunately. Nuclear power. Give me a break. If I planted, like, right here? Yeah. Or even, like, 
Problem is, when you do a speed run, like you can barely even grow the city enough to really fully take advantage of all that. Wow, there's another one. <laughs> Unbelievable. Alright, let's try this again. If this gives me another one, I'm going to be so mad. I changed how that thing was leaking up on the other side. Or should I just avoid... I don't... All my cities are on this side. Just want it to pop. I remove that. Maybe that had something to do with it. Thank you. It's not that complicated. I. Holy mac! I two hundred thirty-two gold. To rush Stonehenge almost. I can rush Stonehenge. <laughs> yeah, it's times four, so you can rush it. Alright, where are we at? Two more turns, Code of Laws. Goodness gracious. Hey, Brian. What's going on, man? <laughs> How many texts do we have? Three? Hmm. Probably want to get another tech though before we start expanding, really. Take advantage of that bonus. It'll drop from 40 per rushed settler to 20. Let's get out of here. Hey, Brian. You're just in time. Just in time. Things are going very well here. Thought I hit that before. Where you get uranium? Do you mean where do you get uranium? It's in that mountain over there, but you can't get it until nuclear power. Alright, Code of Laws is matching up perfectly. Yeah, it is nuts. Oh my goodness, we got 250 some gold again. I don't think. Do I want to get currency? Is it really that much of a problem? Because you don't get the market and you don't get the caravan. So I guess that's the question. I mean, that stuff is nice, but I feel like with the Americans, maybe it doesn't matter. And you know what? Do I stream every day? No, I definitely do not stream every day. I might actually just go ahead and get currency. I don't know that the camel is actually going to even help me that much. I already have two boats. So I kind of feel like the camel... The free caravan and the and the free market 
it's nice, but I don't know that it's better than actually just getting currency for free. Because I, I pretty much never get banking for free, because during that time I'm blowing all my money, and now I'm saving all my money. So, let's do it. And currency takes a long time to get, man. It's like 80, 80 beakers, which is a lot at this stage. I'm going to give it a whirl. Alright, so that was perfect because getting currency actually brought me up to five techs, which means now I'm medieval era. That was actually kind of beautiful. Normally I don't do that. Possibly another name tile right there. nice setup over here. So I got a trading post over here, but it didn't do me any good. distribute these guys so they can help out. Too bad I couldn't make use of that trading post. It might have been a good idea to actually go like plan up here just so that I got the trading post. Like right there? That would have been kind of sweet. Something I don't really normally think about, but that might have been a good idea. Kind of pretend like you're the Egyptians for just that one city. Why is it 40 gold? It shouldn't be 40 gold. nothing that way so so it looks like it actually hasn't kicked in yet my rush cost because it's charging me 40 
I think it's because they got currency. So I could spend 120 or just wait one more turn. I think I should just wait. Because it's overcharging me right now. I'm almost positive that it's screwing me. That does not seem right. Yeah, the era. I figure it's worth it to just wait, because that's going to waste a lot of gold if I just... That's weird. There it is. The official era change has come. This boat is going to take forever. Oh, look at that boat. Capsized. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Might just roll with this spot. There's no growth here whatsoever, though. Oh, I did hit the ice wall. <laughs> I don't want to expand out of this city. I need every bit of population, every bit of production I can here. Yeah, I don't know. It's a tough call. I need like a hammer icon on this thing. What the heck is this? So many weird symbols on this thing. <laughs> Brian, that is an outrageous conspiracy theory. Repent at once. <laughs> I'm gonna start popping these out. That's better. 16 gold. I can deal with that. Wow. 
<laughs> this. Yeah, really. This is going to be a, there's going to be a lot of growing going on in this game. Oh, I know who's in the game. It's the Chinese. I didn't get a free right. I didn't get a free spy. School of Confucius. Uh, yeah. Play it by ear, yeah. Rush this horse out just to assist with the speed of the expansion here.
Oil. Alright. Got 11 cities. We're doing okay. Left cup him Pilari Pifer Pilari Left Cup Hem Marse Cruz but Left Cup Hem Marse Cruz but Left Cup Hem Marse Cruz but Left Cup Hem Marse I'm not sure about that. But maybe. Might do some multiplayer, maybe. Let's see how this goes. Oju. Think they're exciting? Sulfur is pretty annoying. Loading them up. You know, it's funny you mentioned that, Brian. When you settle on a resource, you actually do get certain things. Um, I actually just made a video about that. I recorded a video about that just, not even kidding, like two hours ago. And I show it with the Indians. If you're Indians and you settle on some hammers, you will get 10 production. It works best with the Indians because they have access to everything.
So in this case, I'll get 10 gold. I mean, 10 food here. So I should have one third of my food here when I plant. Yeah, so I got one third of the bar there. Because it takes 30 food to grow it. So that's what it gives me. Oh, no, you didn't. <sighs> Whatever. So the way it works is uh, you'll get, if you settle on food, it's 10 food. If you can settle on hammer, any production resource, it's 10 production. And if you settle on any trade tile, like wine or spices, you'll get 10 gold. If you settle on culture, you get nothing. Absolutely nothing. Accidentally drove my boat over there. That was stupid. <laughs> All right, we got the all important plus one to every city. That's gonna really boost this up. We have a lot. Uh, we got iron working backfilled, so that's a good thing. Construction would be kind of cool just because I could start using that tree. But. Let's take a little peek at this here. Kind of hoping they get. I don't want to research pottery. That'd be kind of stupid. Ew. I don't have masonry yet, so I don't want to get that either. Or ceremonial burial. Or, oh my goodness. This game is going to make me research pottery. Come on. I don't want to take such a big hit on my tech here. I think so, man. I think so. You can only hear the game. Save McDonald, refresh their browser. Refresh the browser, man. Twitch is really buggy. Sometimes it just doesn't appear. <laughs> I 
and tar. Meta and poses. Oh. Proust. Ha. Bunt. Mozart. Train us in pari. <laughs> that pose. <laughs> uh. Tar. Train us in pari. Literacy. Mozartfay. Sometimes you want to sell the tech if it helps you in your back feeling. Does this guy know? Yeah, this guy doesn't know who the other guy is. Has he? Oh man, that's too bad. Well, yeah, what can you do about that? It's pretty rough. You know the Americans are good when you can't you're like can't even outrun how fast you're expanding. Load this thing up. <laughs> what is all of this? Uh, I don't know, man. It's more cities equals winning. That's how you win in this game. What are we gonna get? Got a scientist. Not too bad. All right. resources over here. Oop, what the hell? Can a boat have fundamentalism? I don't think it can. Boats can't have fundamentalism. I guess boats don't have beliefs, I guess. I don't know. Good question. <laughs> exactly. I don't think boats understand religious zeal. I think that's true. Damn, that mountain is right in my way.
I like cannot <laughs> proceed further without pr researching pottery. I need pottery. I need masonry. I mean, I could conceivably get banking. Absolutely not. You should get pepperoni and mushrooms. I don't know why you would want salami on a pizza. That is savage. Getting banking might be awesome right now, honestly. Wow, I can get it fast too. So I could get banking in two turns after uh, I'll bump my science up a little bit next turn. And then I could get industrialization. I th think I would have to get 105 per turn. It's the only problem. <laughs> uh, if you say so, I, I don't sure doesn't taste like it. Oh man, this is a tough decision. Banking will give me a hundred gold though, which is pretty much five. Banking is five settlers. Stuff to tough call. Like, do you go for do you go for industrialization or do you get bank uh, or you just like tech normally? Two. I mean, it will take a while for this boat to get back. One, two, three, four turns. Could have industrialization. On the other hand, I could get three cities next turn. That's tough. I think we should just do it. Let's go for banking. Hey, Dimitrium. What's going on, man? Hmm. It's going to have to go right there.
Not killing the Greeks because they're good guys. They're good guys, man. Actually, sometimes it's just better to leave them in the game. Because you can steal great builders and great scientists from them if you get lucky. It's almost like a second stream of great people. Misbehaving city. Don't think there's going to be enough to get me what I really need, though. Did I play sports? A little bit. I played some football and basketball, sort of. played Pop Warner football when I was 11 and 12. Am I a baller? No, I don't think I am a baller. Rather gangster, I have to profess. If you couldn't tell. Hmm. Oh, 
All right. Picking up banking. No gold. Should be taking care of that shortly, though. Getting banking, so that'll help. Yeah, great artist. named wonders on the ice wall here. Come on. Wow, that was a lot of gold overflow. I'm 38. <laughs> yeah, you remember that? I, would, I, would, I figured that videos would get more dislikes. It actually didn't, though, so I don't know. Wasn't sure what to make of all that. Let's get pottery. It's time to win. Are you talking about that? It was like a 1984 Honda Accord or something like that. White car? I think it was a gray car. Are you talking about my the old Honda Accord we used to have, Dimitrium? We only have 27 cities. We need to fix that. We need at least 57 cities.
My face when I don't have 60 cities. Feels bad. Oh. Oh, were you in the car when I was learning how to drive stick shift in a Honda Accord and that thing was bucking like a Bronco the whole way there because I, I was still learning? I still have PTSD from that car ride. I don't want to plant too close. This might cause problems if I plant right here. I think I should just go up here. And then one up there. Better access to the water anyway. Oh, we'll have that guy. We don't have any urgent need for that anyway. This guy stops working this tile because it's in my way. I need him to move. I didn't really want to research that, but didn't really have a choice. For those at home, this is the reason the Americans are number one for single player and probably multiplayer too. No one else can get away with something this ridiculous. That sounds pretty crazy. Planning faster than they can take them. Totally crazy getting industrialization in 1300. Might end up selling that great artist. It's 
nothing I can do with this clown. Thirteen hundred BC. Yeah. Only with America. Yeah, the medieval bonus is pretty much broken. It's actually not even one, it's not even half rushing cost, it's actually one third. So it's 20 gold, but normally it costs 60 to rush a settler. It's even crazier than you think it is. Just kidding. It's time to start thinking about irrigation. It's going to be some serious magic when that happens. Masonry. <laughs> two, one, two, three. <laughs> that is so broken. Yeah, I think masonry irrigation is the way to go here. Now I still have a whole coastline here that I could exploit, which is pretty wild. So who knows how many, still a 12 text. Dude, I would love to have some pizza right now. That sounds so good. Kinda need a boat. 
stupid caravan. He's way too far from everything right now, so. This is completely ridiculous, by the way. Ridiculous. from the one that actually is a fish. I think it's the Chinese. Pretty sure. Damn, I have a lot of gold, too. I could go up here and get 10 free production towards a library. Eve Zaid. Thanks for the follow, man. Whew. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting thought. Like, But I guess you get... I mean, I would make that up in four turns once I get five populations, so... For the record, this is by far my most ridiculous game with the Americans, or anyone, I guess. So I'd be shocked if we didn't sm smash the record here. I would have to pretty much screw up or get some seriously terrible RNG. Yeah, really. Tech stacking? No, I haven't heard of that. Tech stacking. That's a new one. What the heck does that mean? Yeah, unfortunately, it seems like there's a lot of multiplayer exploits. <laughs> yeah, Athens could do that. They could. Let me, let me explain something. Here's something ridiculous about the Americans. So they can do stuff like Russia Galley. Uh, get the militia guy off the boat to defend the city and then just sell the boat. You could just do that every turn for free. All it really costs you is the build instructions for that turn. They could also do another thing where I run a settler over here and plant right here so that I could take advantage of this water. And then I could rush a horse from over here, send him over here, and then I could plant him that turn and then just sell the horse. So it's like it would cost me nothing to do that. Gonna go this way first, though. I'm about to hit 40 gold, though. So that's a little bit of a bummer. I'm gonna hit 14 techs.
This could be a nice little spot here. A little boat that could. Look at him go. like this island. It's okay. It's just not great. I kind of feel like I want one more settler over here too. Could use a second person on this boat. Nah, China, I don't know where China, they're, they're on some tiny little island somewhere. A little sad there isn't more dye out here. I see a lot of fish and a lot of whales. Yeah, it is it is China for sure. Probably take advantage of this cheap settler stuff while I can. So load them up. How many will I need over there? I don't know. So cheap, it's like, why wouldn't you just rush them? game where have I had a game where Civ culture expansion derailed your expansion uh, yeah uh, that happened when I was using the British and well the English and the Arabs had this big culture expansion coming in but I was doing a build no units domination victory so that's a little different but still it did they, the culture really messed me up I couldn't really use my tiles that was on YouTube it was a loss that I had sense. Why wouldn't I rush these? So when you research, say, alphabet, after you complete it, the game gives the option to research another tech. What you do is press B. Sack down here is one thing you research. Oh, you're talking about where you just basically cause gold overflow on purpose? I, I think you can do that in team games too. I think it actually, there's some kind of bug with that where it doubles the gold overflow or something.
All right, that's about as good as it's gonna get. Up to 39 cities. Ridiculous. Construction. Get that in one turn. So many techs. Oh, I have to get this at some point. Feudalism? Nope. Math? Nope. Probably end up getting nav in one turn. Might just skip math. This is insane. Wait, wait, wait. Get on that boat. stuff up there. Should have went up that way. Stupid. At, 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 at. <laughs> Is 1000 BC your uh, milestone where you check that kind of thing? Gun. Get on the dang boat. Yeah. At forty two right now.
Could if I wanted to. That's for sure. We'll just have to rush out some uh, cities here. Do 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 Wow. I've never seen that. Dude, what if there's a third oak? <laughs> <laughs> Three oak trees. That would be hilarious.
Time to manage our cities. Woo wee! The most fun part. Ron and Ray joining the club. <laughs> Why do you make so many cities close together? So that you can win. That's how you win in this game. Pretty good. Some pretty cities I got here. All right, that micromanaging took us up to two thirty. So we're going to get 170 gold overflow plus 221 that's 391 All right So we're going to we won't hit our milestone quite yet That's all right That's all right maybe the next time Workshop in Detroit. What? Doesn't sound right. Let's investigate. Sounds bad. Thinking monarchy is the most important due to all of the die. But we also could use navigation just because the boat. Uh, I'm not sure right now, man. I can't really think about it. Um, yeah, maybe multi. That could be fun. Yeah, that's true about nav. What do I could do is I could do monarchy and then nav. Why is this thing asking me to build things?
One there. I made your mom sticky. Strange name. Welcome to the club. Yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I think we got enough settlers. No triple oak? <laughs> so, I really have to go to the restroom before I fall out of my chair here. Be right back, guys. One second. I want to know who the heck got that workshop. Thanks, guys. Thanks for waiting. Sorry about that. <sighs> Nature called. <laughs> Build the Great Wall. have to wait here because of this stupid militia. Oh, do I really need him? Maybe not.
Let's run this guy around for no reason. Hey, Uncle Kev. Yeah, uh, this game's pretty much almost been perfect. It's hard for me to imagine it going better. <laughs> so we're going to skip ceremonial burial. so many Detroits I don't know where my workshop appeared is Detroit down here are you Detroit no are you Detroit no you're Detroit all right here we go I found Detroit well I got a lot of I got a lot of Detroit oh you're right can you see that there Show built oh, wow, because it's got the number over here. Yeah, there you go. Good call, man. Man, you know what you're talking about. Good old Arch Ghost knows his stuff. Exactly. E hey, Blacker Ninja. Sometimes I kind of like working these, but these little uh, silk tiles, but I don't think it's going to help me out here. Sometimes it does help though. That's all the settlers I need down here.
All right, I think every... Oh, that's not good. We're gonna get 500 gold and monarchy at the same time. Can't do that. have instead. Maybe we can get a builder. That would be ideal. Get us a boat. Is there anything? I don't think there's anything. They've done all the land expansion we could do here. So, really, just being held up by boats. Pretty much skipping math. I think we can get monarchy now. We should be getting a great person. Okay. Take this guy this way. Rush out a settler here. We're also going to have to check up on all the whales. Load up a settler here. Oh, there's China. Found China, boys. load up a spy just in case actually we do want to keep that Sometimes you can catch a glimpse of Atlantis if you're lucky. 
from one of these galleys. How many turns this would be? Game will be over by the time I get there. Fifty-one. Didn't think I had that many. It's even more than I thought. So I should get a great person next turn, and then another one the turn after that. pretty close to being able to rush the East India Company if we don't get a builder. We're not going to have a milestone collision, are we? Oh, It's kind of stressful sometimes, trying to avoid all the little things that can catch you and mess you up a little bit. Backfield democracy. Uh, not a terrible thing, but it means I'm going to have to change. Basically stop all of my science and everything for one turn just to change. It's Trump. Yeah, mass media is plus one population. Um, I think engineering is the way to go. Wilbur Wright? I don't want that. amazing. Oh! Capsized. It's a great artist. Gonna pull it off. Jack up eighty-seven. Welcome aboard. Is this like a new patch? Like, why can't I see that?
Oh. I think this is good. Worthless. Strabo. Worthless. Ufa. Ufa. That's good. Strabo. All right. We can get East India Company, though. We'll have to rush it, though. We'll have to rush it. Can I actually rush it right now? How much production does this guy have? Might as well hang on to him. See if we can get him up to 400. Might as well just rush this now. I mean, there's no reason not to. It's too important. <laughs> seen that <laughs> good old Demetrium yeah it's because we're using the Americans and they are the expansion kings so I'm getting a great person next turn, and I can get another one with invention. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, university's pretty, looks pretty good too. They have so many cities. I guess getting the great people is more important right now, though. Let's 
It's going to ask me to build something for all of these cities next turn. All 53 that don't have anything set. So this is kind of a wild card right here. I could get this. Could not. Hope it doesn't end up hurting me here. Nailed it. <sighs> well, that's not what I wanted. Got a great leader. That's no good. We'll see if we can make our look. Sometimes you gotta make it. Make my settlers veterans. Hey, Krasabi. What's going on? I want a library, stupid computer. Pattern recognition. EIC in 700 BC. That is really early. Wow. Yeah, that's early. Not insanely early, but pretty early. I believe there's still another artifact out here somewhere.
Angkor Wat. I think this will yield Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Oh, we got a hut too. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that could be the case here. Alright, how many settlers do we need? Let's figure that out right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doing a little city planning right now. One, two, well, might as well go ahead and rush one. Get over there. Stop it. You know what I did the other day, which I thought was kind of interesting? I actually took an airplane over to the ice wall. Haha. -ha. You can fly like way up all over the glaciers and everything. I think you can even find natural wonders up there. It's pretty funny. Let's figure this out first. Is this going to work? Nope. Nope. Oh. Bummer. Oh, that's too bad. Hey man, nice city. We have a base at the South Pole. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. I guess I'm a debunked. What can I tell you? Uh, let's see. Come on, Athens. I know you want to poop out a great person. Is there anything for me to do? I no, there's nothing. Hmm. Well, there's nothing for this guy to do. over here. Might as well just sell it. Hang on to this guy.
I gotta find a time to change over. Oh man, this is so hard. One, two, three. Has to be done. All right, something useful. Demo crazy. Hmm. Oh wait, that's not a scientist. That's a humanitarian. Nothing I can do with this clown. Oh, man. Hey, Joe. I mean, uh, not, no, my name's Joe. Your name's Luca. What's going on, man? So damn gangster, I swear. <laughs> look at all those badges. You look like a third world dictator, Luca. Did you enjoy that video, Krasabi? All about blockbuster video? Pretty legendary or what? Alright, I think this is going to be Hanging Gardens of Babylon, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to call this 
I'm predicting Hanging Gardens of Babylon in exclamation point, exclamation point. Let's see if that's what happens. Nope. Put it in Washington. Got the Hanging Gardens though. How, how does it pick the city? That's a terrible spot for that. I have way better cities for that. Did it go on culture? Because I have culture there? Need some more Chicago's. <laughs> um, I try to stream around nine o'clock. Anything that's in addition to nine o'clock p.m will just be kind of random. I might have a special guest on the show tomorrow, actually. I have an old friend coming over, a guy I've known since I'm, I was like nine. He may join us on the stream. Tomorrow may be a special broadcast. Well, I suppose it is a special broadcast. It'll be the first time someone else will be joining me here on the stream. We may not be playing Civ Rev. We may be playing something else that we both kind of enjoy playing. But uh, we'll see. We'll just play it by ear and have some fun. Guy I've known for about 30 years. No, <laughs> not Abraham Lincoln, though. You're proud? Why are you proud of me, man? Actually, that's kind of uh, <laughs> that's kind of interesting that you say that. His name actually is Joe, so it will be the Joe and Joe Twitch show. I don't, that's like really weird that you said that, to be honest. But so uh, I usually call him Joseph. It's just kind of always he's always went by Joseph. I go by Joe. We've actually thought it would be really cool to do a a dual hosted show where we basically had two people and. Uh, you don't really see that on Twitch, and we just have kind of like, you know, we've known each other so long that we kind of have a natural chemistry, and we know how, uh, we know e each other's idiosyncrasies and all of that, so, should be interesting, should be fun. Not Joe Biden, I would not allow Joe Biden in my house, he's a pervert. He's like, that dude is always touching kids. The weirdo man. All right. Everyone's in democracy in this game. That's pretty strange. Let's get air. Let's get university.
Don't need, don't need, don't need steam power. Corp, one turn. So we need corporation, but we also need advanced flight. Uh, I need like one more great person. <laughs> yeah, I did steal a great scientist. Uh, tech is kind of my default. <laughs> African dictator. <laughs> uh, you look like you look like Gaddafi, man. Corporation to open up networking. I need to rush. Yeah. If I can get Oxford, that'd be nice. Oh! Please stop that. Please stop. Sending my screen all over. Wow, look at that tile. Looks good, but it's still useless. Go over here. And I'll hold it. Oh. Meant to use that last turn. I am Soul Train. It's Beater Sauce. That's a strange name. But I'm not going to judge you. Hey, Beater Sauce. Glad you could join the stream, man. You're just in time for all kinds of world records. Perry appears to be what we got going on here. Yeah, probably going to put like a nuclear weapon hit in there or something like that. Everyone loves a nuke. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Nice city. Your sub button should be something super... Oh, you mean like the animation? It should be super dope. Not ready to hit that quite yet. Yeah, I, I submitted it to change it to that, actually. I did... I'm going to have to check up on that after my stream tonight and just see... It's supposed to be a pottery icon, actually. So I don't know if they haven't approved that. It's been way too long, though. There's no way it takes that long. I'm going to check that out. Oh. 
<laughs> Can I build? Yeah, I can. So I can build Oxford and then finish up Corporation. Yeah, it's gonna be a pottery. <laughs> yep, you did. It is gonna be a pottery icon. You're right. Uh, not a bad little city here. Let's get Oxford. of places to put people and things. We're gonna hold off on that and pray for a tech. Cam Dog Gaming! Hell yeah! What's going on, man? Thanks for the follow. Is it always 720? Is it really that much? <laughs> yep, corporation. That's what we need. Alright. Here we go. Well, first of all, let's see how much this makes a difference. 926, what's this take us to? Oh, just go get a bowl of cereal or something. Go heat up your hot pocket. This is going to take a while. Definitely don't want to get a humanitarian with the Americans packing these cities in so tight. You just don't even have room for all this stuff. Thank you. 
14 production. That's pretty nice. Whew. Six turns? Are we even going to be here in six turns? I don't know. Maybe. Might be preferable just to work these stupid, these uh, worthless desert tiles here. Even though, because we may not ever be able to cash out that production. Tough call. I have so many literacy tiles, it's like, it's a shame that I probably will not be able to use them. Sometimes it's actually handy to work those once in a while, if you're working towards a milestone. Got some good, damn, we got a, we got like three cities with 14 production, that's pretty darn good. See ya, Uncle Kev. He couldn't make it through the, uh. Look, we squeezed out another 100 gold, all that optimization. So it looks like we're going to hit 65 cities. And I don't even think we're going to build more. Well, it would have been tough to even squeeze more out of this. We may have been able to get one, like, like put one right here. It would be kind of dumb, but... Could pop one more out. China's got a lot of cities over here. Put one more right there, one more right there. Pretty good. About all we'll need to do. It's about as good as we could hope for. This is a lot of late wasted space right here, but those are capitals we couldn't really do a lot about. So we should get advanced flight and corporation next turn. Yeah, I might stay up late, to be honest. I mean, I don't have a lot going on tonight. I have my all whole families out of town, so I don't really have anything going on right now. Got advanced flight. Jeez, give me a second, Luca. Can I like break the world record here or not? What's up?
All right, this is it. If this is uh, if this ends up being space, if this gives me networking, then thank you, God. God. All right, so. I don't think I can actually use it until next turn. Brian Goley wants to know, do I ever get up to stretch? All the sitting is bad for your back. Yeah, man, you do get a little stiff. But right before I started streaming, I actually picked up the dumbbells, man. I was killing it. <clears throat> ah! Yeah, yeah. I was making gains, baby. I was making gains. <sighs> Killing machine. Did I even tell you guys I was the quarterback, okay, for the Fort Devons Raiders? Did you know that? That's right. I was 12 years old. The glory days. How do you become a sub? I think you have to connect the credit card. I think you gotta bust out the credit card or you gotta use a Twitch Prime. <laughs> Polka PJ, come on man. I know I know when you saw those guns you were like Pog Champ, that's what you were thinking. The guns. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed playing football. I'm a little uh, annoyed that this is not showing me space flight. I feel like it should be. But it's not. Yeah, you got to take care of it. I know a lot of people on Twitch are like on 12 different prescription medications. And they're uh, pale and pasty and not getting any sunshine. Drinking way too much monster energy drink. I drink on this channel. This is what we drink. See that? America's Heroes. Mission Barbecue. That's what I'm drinking out of. I'm drinking water. That's the best thing you can drink. Drink some water. Eat, eat a balanced diet. And get a little exercise once in a while. Not right now, though. You're watching my stream right now. You stay engaged. Keep watching. But when I'm done, go get some exercise. Yeah, those energy drinks. I, I've always thought that was like a weird trend. I, I don't. There's like all bunch of weird chemicals in there and everything. So it's like everyone's like, oh, we're not drinking soda because that stuff is disgusting and full of chemicals and high fructose corn syrup. So we're so instead we're just gonna drink Monster Energy Drink with like a literal satanic writing on the front of the can or we're gonna drink rockstar energy drink it's like no thank you not for me i'll just drink coffee if i want some caffeine i just drink i'm old-fashioned i drink coffee or tea it's good enough for me that's just my personal opinion you can do whatever the heck you want to do as the hodge twins would say Selling out to big water. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh, stupid great leader. Let's get this guy ready. Just in case, just in case they want a piece of this. Oh, you got cucked. Oh, you just got cucked. Welcome, Tianjin. I'm so happy that I ended up being able to use that. That guy is so ready. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> they did, man. They said, we don't want to be on your team anymore. We are on their team. That's where the real party is. The refugees are here. Oh, I can't plant here. It's too close. <laughs> oh, well. I guess we're all done expanding. Please, sir, take our refugees. We're more than a refugee. Alright. Let's get some gold. We need the gold. close. How many do we have? I should just get one of these. Like religion. Get a ton of overflow. I'm pretty sure that will unlock space flight. Because I've got everything it takes. Wait, what? Is this thing like not updated or something? What? Did I pick networking? <laughs> Are you serious? I'm gonna have to go look at the tape now. No, hold on. I selected. I thought I selected electronics. Now I'm confused. Yeah, I got Oxford. Well, that pretty much messed me up. No, I want. I got advanced flight from from uh, Oxford. That, that's what I wanted, but the hut gave me networking. I did not want networking. I must have either. I guess I must have picked the wrong one. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. That's messed up. I could have started launching a spaceship this turn. This turn.
Oh. Yeah, it could have been 200 BC. Sub zero hype? What's that mean? So salty right now. Oof. So sad. Need one more. Yeah, I mean, it's still going to be a good time, but I think it's happening in zero year. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. The only reason I'm doing this is for better gold overflow. <laughs> Get him next time. <laughs> oh man. It's still the world record. I don't know what you're talking about. Still going to be a very ridiculously good time. No food.
<laughs> How do you do single city? You just make a city and grow it real big. Build a granary, find a river, find a bunch of plains. Just make it big. Some nice production around here. Should have been in 400 BC. So lame. So lame. What's going on here, Athens? So expensive. We're not even going to have the money we need anyway. That might be the game we play tomorrow, actually. We might play a little bit of Skyrim in here.
<laughs> uh, nah, man, it's real. Look at this. This is real life in like uh, 20, 30 years, man. Anyone that know, watches Star Trek or Star Wars or Buck Rogers, they know that this is legit right here. All right, 300 years travel time. Forty-eight. So this would be five turns in order to get there. I could save one turn by rushing a few more of these. What does it do if you rush five? I can't remember. I guess it just doesn't count it or it doesn't change the time, I guess. Because it doesn't hurt to... I'm pretty sure it just does nothing. Oh, really? Does it? <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. I don't think that's always true, because if you build one propulsion, it gets there in eight turns, and then if you build the next three on the next turn, that would get you down to the three turn travel time, so that would save you a lot of time, wouldn't it? Xiao <laughs> Pao. 439. So we got three turns of travel time here. So if I didn't mess that up, we would have got, I guess it would have gotten us, it still wouldn't have been sub zero, I guess.
Alright, 150 AD. Right, so if you have one prop, it, it gets there in eight turns. If you have two, it gets there in five. Three, it gets there in four. And then four, it gets you there in three. <laughs> you know, I had this theory that when you're playing Civilization, you're actually playing the role of the Antichrist. Have you ever thought about that? You're uniting the world. Oh. All right. Not too bad. I think the only way to get that faster would be by having like three or four. Because if I didn't really have that much tech hut magic going on. So yeah, it is sub-zero victory is definitely possible. So what, if I picked the right one, it would have been... If I picked electronics instead of networking, it would have been... What, 50 AD, I believe? That's the that, that's that that's the new world record with the Americans. Uh, clearly, it's pretty obvious why they're so powerful. Their expansion can't be beat. I don't even think the Chinese can come close to that. It's just they had so much money and just popping out settlers like it was nothing. Um, be interesting to see if the Chinese could pull off a similar time. But uh, that's all for that video. I'm gonna and the video there for YouTube so I'll see you guys next video